Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, October 3rd, 2024, let's get into it. Hey, anyway, I was out for a nice hike today, I just wanted to come home, watch TV, and I always cut on the news for a bit, and I, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my, I just did a video on this. Holy moly. Well, all right. So let's give you the latest. This picks up where yesterday's video left off. Uh, by the way, let me cry on your shoulder for two minutes. I'm having to make a separate video now for YouTube and make a video for Rumble. So if you ever want more information on your stream, watch The Burn on Rumble because YouTube, well, first thing was uh, September 29th video they uh, they gave me a copyright violation and then yesterday I was trying to talk about the jab and uh, and how it relates uh, to uh, heart stuff uh, and uh, they gave me a um, a medical amount uh, a medical misinformation strike or a warning to a strike and so uh, so I got to be real careful around YouTube and uh, so I'm I, I'll be talking about I've already decided how I'm going to handle this. And, you know, the other thing, the copyright violation, it was, you couldn't even hear the music. I think it was just, they have an algorithm and it just sweeps in there. And so what I have to do is if, if there's any hint of any music at all, even though it, you can barely hear it, you know, because you're, somebody's talking over top of it, I have to drop it completely out. And that's why yesterday's video, when you looked at all the flooding of Helene, uh, I had to drop the noise out, or the the, uh, the uh, music out of that. All right, so let's just get into the the, the, the continuation of that story. This is from David uh, Friedberg, our largest city, Ohalo. I never heard of that. O H A L O, in it is in Asheville, North Carolina, where our team members and the area were devastated by Helene. We've kept continuous operations thanks to Starlink off-grid generators spending $42.5 billion to, to wire up rural areas. Makes no sense. Just give everyone Starlink. So thank you, Elon Musk, uh, for giving everyone Starlink. So now I want to get into why I'm making this video. And this is from Bill Stebbins. <clears throat> Man, I'll tell you, I, I'm going to try not to cry. But I want to show you who the Democrats are. They don't give a flying F about you and me or Americans anywhere. All they care about is sending money to Israel and sending money to Ukraine. When people here in the United States need help. Okay? If you're going to vote Democrat, you go right ahead. If you know a damn Democrat, I hope you say something to them. Hope you say... Don't you think we should be helping them people in North Carolina and Tennessee rather than sending our money to Ukraine and, and, and Israel? I, I, I just want you to ask them that question. Ask a Democrat that question. That one question. Okay, that's, that's a pretty harmless question, right? You know, you're not accusing them of anything. I mean, you know, just see what they're... And leave me a comment about what they say. And now I have to read this to you because I'm angry. A comrade in arms of mine and a fellow OIF vet came up on the net and, thanks to Starlink and Elon Musk, was able to let me know he and his family are alive. But things are getting really bad, really quick. He and a fellow multiple tour Iraq vet and is not prone to exaggeration. Or he is a fellow multiple, multiple tour. He's in North Carolina and here, his first update. The entire area is a war zone, even if not directly destroyed by floodwaters. There are men, women, and children starving without water and sanitation. No fuel. People can't get to any distro points because they have no fuel. People are walking on foot and dragging wagons. And the Democrats don't care! The majority of the federal and state assets are being delivered to the incorporated areas of Asheville, Black Mountain, etc., and without a deliberate effort yet in the rural un unincorporated areas. People are suffering and communities are rapidly moving to isolation and self-defense and policing. 
In other words, there's looting going on. There are bodies floating down the rivers. There are bodies stuck in the tops of trees. <clears throat> Sorry, getting choked up. Linemen entering destroyed areas are finding dozens of children as young as three walking through the mud near naked, crying for their parents. Some with ropes still tied on their arms attached to broken lumber where clearly their dead parents had last ditch tied them to something. Was talking to a lineman yesterday about how he's finding heads and limbs every time debris is removed. Entire communities are just gone. 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 Nothing to repair. And in some of the areas, just no one to even help anymore. Just bodies with the stench increasing by the day. The death count will be in the thousands. Desperation is increasing. And most vets are lying on their roofs with their rifles. Local rural gas stations, markets, etc. have clear militias forming with men in hodgepodge gear and rifles patrolling. We are self-policing now because the federal government is not there. I, I imagine that. Because the Democrats don't care. And your federal government doesn't care. All they care about is war, war, war. And sending your and my taxpayer monies to everywhere else in, in the world. Follow me. Set notifications on. I'll keep you informed. This is James Woods. A person who follows me sent me this DM regarding the horrific tragedy befallen in Western North Carolina. I don't even know her name, but her missive is so powerful, so moving, that I must share it. Warning, this is not easy reading, so if you want to shut off right here, go right ahead. When do people matter more than politics? My little hometown is decimated. Clyde, North Carolina. Western North Carolina is gone. So many people dead and still missing. So many without homes now, I can't breathe. That will always be my home, and it is destroyed. Picking bodies out of trees and mud. Children naked, searching for their parents. My heart can't take much more. And I lost my daddy up there six days ago. When does the pain stop? What do we have to do to get back to the basics of humanity? Because that seems to be missing on social media these days. Yeah, not to mention. Remember when I made yesterday's video and I told you I was trying to find footage of the devastation? And I told you it's all been wiped from the internet? You think there ain't censorship? You think the Democrats aren't out there doing censorship already? Where's the mainstream media? They're not reporting on any of this. Nobody watches me. Maybe all 20 of you, maybe spread this around so that people know what the hell's going on. The ugly things I see on here are beyond my comprehension. When did picking a side become more important than someone's well-being? We really need more God. Thanks for reading. Well, Trump's been on the ground. Trump's been there. That's all I got to say. I'm proud of him. And then this is a video from, uh, this is uh, Colonel Douglas McGregor. I'm going to put this up. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Take control of your town below. And then I'm going to play the video. He's talking about, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Republic.us. Americans. I am Colonel Douglas McGregor, an Army combat veteran who had the privilege of serving as senior advisor to the Secretary of Defense under President Trump. A long time ago, I took an oath on the plane at West Point to protect our nation and citizens. This is why I agreed to serve as CEO of our country, our choice. Our members and partnering organizations are the best of the best. Many of them are veterans, law enforcement officers, small business owners, and farmers. All of them know that protecting our nation and our citizens is the top priority. Unfortunately, our government is defending lawbreakers, in many cases making it difficult for law enforcement to protect us. Sadly, America is no longer a peaceful place. All forms of criminality, from school shootings to drug trafficking, are on the rise. 
Even worse, our government is planning to hire illegal immigrants as police officers or military members. Many of these people hate Americans and have no connection to our communities. Far too many countries have simply emptied their prisons and sent their most violent people to our country. These are just some of the problems that confront us. We want you to join Our Country, Our Choice now and become part of the solution to these problems. We are launching several new initiatives in an effort to deal with the aforementioned problems. Of these initiatives, Our Country, Our Choice's decision to begin using the new social media platform, Republic, may be the most consequential. Republic is a grassroots free speech platform with a completely different concept. It focuses on identifying and solving problems from the bottom up or local community, town and country upwards. We think Republic is the tool to win back our towns, counties and states. Other social media companies give users a free account so they can track you, own your content, control your speech and sell advertisement and access to you. They allow bots to attack you if they don't like your message. They censor your content and they will limit your reach if they do not like your content. Their interest is not to let you grow your following unless you buy advertisement from them. Republic does not have advertisement at all. It does not limit your reach. It does not sell you information or track you. On Republic, viewing the posts or sharing the post is free. At Republic, only users or activists can write articles, make calendar events, or make actions. Users pay an annual fee of $180 a year. We think it's a small price for freedom of speech for anyone who wants to make a serious impact on their own town or community. To stay informed about what is happening in your world, we recommend using Republic. Republic provides valuable insights with 19,500 incorporated towns in the United States. We want to have at least one Our Country, Our Choice member in each town providing information on Republic. But the more, the better. For those who want to start now to fight for our rights and freedoms, Our Country, Our Choice is offering a discounted membership to Republic at $120 per year. Frankly, I've never sold anything in my life, but I'm doing so now. American voices must be heard, not suppressed. On Republic, no one will be canceled or censored. It's time to take our country back and end the destruction of our country. Please register to become a member of Our Country, Our Choice. Join our movement and start taking action today on Republic. All proceeds from these memberships will directly fund our mission to protect and save the country. Thank you, and may God bless you, your family, and these United States. And then we have another quote here from, uh, from, from Douglas McGregor. I just I bookmarked these. If genius consists, as Einstein suggested, of knowing when to stop, there is no evidence for genius in Washington, Jerusalem, or Kiev. Iran's demonstration of precision strike capability last night did not change the minds in Jerusalem, or Washington. Israel's ultimate goal of destroying Iran and Hamas Hezbollah is not achieved. War with Hezbollah and Iran will now intensify and continue. In Ukraine, the tragedy no one mentions last night, the HIMARS and Attackum weapon systems are silent on the Donbass and Zaporozhye fronts. The Russians have destroyed so many HIMARS and Attackums with Iskander strikes that observers have lost count. Ukraine's last remaining military capability is vanishing quickly. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a video for you of me hiking today because all I'm hearing is, oh, everything was shot down. Everything was shot down. You're being gaslit, man. Wake the hell up, people. The mainstream media is nothing but a propaganda arm of the United States government. It's a CIA PSYOP. Okay, this is me hiking today. Let's talk about gaslighting for just one second, because you get it from the right and the left. So I just did my hike today, and I just listened to talk radio. And anyway, I'm on the Chad Benson show. And he comes out, and he says, yeah, 
They launched 200 missiles, but not one got through. Not one. The Israelis' uh, Iron Dome was fantastic. Well, <laughs> you know, he's the, either misinformed <laughs> or he's lying. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I tend to think he's probably just misinformed because that's the same uh, thing that the Biden administration put out. But I've showed you in previous videos the videos of of what looked like uh, missiles hitting the ground. And I think we'll get a lot of evidence. And I know that Colonel McGregor says that those hypersonic missiles, you can't hit them. And we know that they launched some of those. I don't think anybody knows exactly how many. So at least those hit the ground. So anyway, I, I just, you just gaslit everywhere. You can't believe anything anybody says. And then they say, well, unprovoked. This <laughs> was unprovoked attack on Israel. Oh my God, Israel's killed almost a million people. There's a million uh, less, uh, uh, Lebanese that that are trying to find a place to live right now. They've killed over almost a thousand to two thousand uh, people in Lebanon. I mean, my God, <laughs> if that's not if that's not provoking or poking the bear. Well, I mean, look at that. They blew up an embassy in Damascus. Uh, they killed a guy in, in, in Tel Aviv. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. Anyway, I just want to talk about gaslighting for just one second. All right. So I, I you know, I, I was going to stop right there. I said, okay, you know, I, I was going to add that to a video somewhere. But instead, I'm going to tack on, here's 15 minutes of footage of what actually took place in uh, Israel. You can watch it. Form your own opinion. Maybe everything was shot down. Maybe all this is just fake news. Peace out. Stay free. Dude, why, why, yo? المطار دخل مطار المطار مدخل يا ولاد لا 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 المطار مدخل لا 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 المطار ده المطار ده ينعى تحرك 200 المطار يا رب الله يا
וואו, תראו מה קורה פה. حرب العادي حرب فش انت هنا در بالك شو ترجع تلاك وروحوا Okay, guys, we got to get off the roof. These are coming down right next to us here. They're coming down. One just about. We got to go inside. Um, so they have taken cover. There is a lot coming in over Haifa right now. And what we weren't understanding was whether or not the Iron Dome, if there's an Aero 3 system that's, that's taken this out, what's happening. But right now, nothing's hitting the ground. But there's so much of it. Wait, 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 wait. That might change. We have some kind of contact there. I don't know, Nate. But I know that you have the ability to tell us what's going on from even Tel Aviv. Because... Um, so they have taken cover. There is a lot coming in over Haifa right now. And what we weren't understanding was whether or not the Iron Dome, if there's an Aero 3 system that's, that's taken this out, what's happening. But right now, nothing's hitting the ground. But there's so much of it. Wait, 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 wait. That might change. We have some kind of contact there. I don't know, Nate. But I know that you have the ability to tell us what's going on from even Tel Aviv. Because Mario, we get this! Yo, boy, yay! الله أكبر الله أكبر سما غزة الآن الله أكبر وانظر إلى شاط البحر ما الذي يحترق هناك لا ندري لماذا هذا الضوء هذا النار لا ندري سما غزة هكذا الآن سما غزة الآن الله أكبر هذا هو البحر يحترق لا ندري الله أكبر آلاف الحناجر التي بكت كثيرا الآن تعلو بالصراخ والتكبير الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا نعرف شيء لكن نعرف أن هناك ما يسقط عليهم البحر البحر ما الذي يجري في البحر هناك الله 
ببین اونجا اون پشت اون پشت اون رفت اون پکی اون رفت اون رفت تو آسانه آج گرفت رفت دونه دونه اوج میگیرن نه نیاکان دونه دونه اوج میگیرن چی هم یا موشک هم دارم میرن کجا رو بزنه یکیشون رفت صداها رو بشنو تازه هم دوباره میدازن Mario, vai que tem! Mario, vai!